welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a and a If you head over to my Instagram, you will see that I posted a little ask us some festive questions, I guess is the best way to put it. And I've got a really good response. So obviously head over to my Instagram so you can keep up to date with any more Q&As that we decide to do. But for now, I got them on my phone. So while we're doing this, we're also being very festive and we are decorating cookies. Now, the last time we did this, he went dramatically wrong because Adam cannot decorate cookies for the life of him. Oops. Uh, but yeah, it's very festive. I've got my Yankee candle at the moment and also my Christmas mug full of tea. Tea. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. Okay, so the first question that I got asked was, what are you buying each other for Christmas? I can't say. We always keep it a secret. We yeah. never actually tell each other. We get hints, but we never actually tell each other what we're getting. We've got to keep it a secret, haven't we? But have some sort of secret, don't you? Um, yeah, I think we've always just kept every like kept it all a surprise, like always, even from the start of the relationship. Yeah, never ever told so. each other what we get each other for birthdays or Christmases or anything. Unfortunately, I cannot say. You this can, you natural, can like icing is really hard. That's no, right. Tell me what you get me for Christmas. I'm not telling you what I'm getting you for Christmas. He's not going to like it. Would you rather gifts or experiences? Um, gifts are nice, but experiences... I don't know, I suppose, I suppose probably experiences, because it's something you'll always remember. Sometimes yeah, with I, Christmas I, presents, you, you, you get them and you think, yeah, that's nice, and then you use it or wear it for a little while and never really remember again, if as horrible as that sounds. I quite like pictures. Wherever I go, I like buying pictures. So if I can get an experience where I can basically take pictures home, or even take pictures for Instagram, then uh, it's a winner for me. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. I agree the same as you. I much prefer like experiences to gifts. Something, something to remember, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think as you get older as well, like getting gifts is great when maybe you're like a child to a teenager, but when you become an adult with like adulting responsibilities kind of a bit like yeah we sound so old right i'd now. rather not have his well we are old look we're filming a video making decorating biscuits yours actually looks quite good i'm quite jealous actually makes a change for me um if you could travel anywhere at christmas where would it be mm. um well I'd go for the usual somewhere really snowy but not america but not America. No, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to go to America. I, I think it would be good, but they're just so over the top. Yeah. Um, <laughs> some peaceful, maybe somewhere like like France or somewhere like that. Some, somewhere what, Disneyland got... Paris? No. Oh. You know the answer to this. Oh. But some, somewhere where, sort of up in like the mountains or somewhere. I think that would be quite nice. That'd be quite nice. Um, do you know what? I guess I'm going to go with like, the dream. Obviously, of course, I'd love to go to Disneyland Paris for Christmas. That would be like an actual dream. But if I couldn't go there, then I'd probably like to go like to Lapland, is it? Where it's kind of similar to centre parks in a way, but they do have snow. Somewhere with reindeer, you mean? Yeah, and it's got snow. <laughs> That's like proper festive and Christmassy because we don't really get snow in London really at Christmas. It's the kind of thing, the only thing that happens in a movie rather than actual real life. It doesn't actually happen. It doesn't happen. We very rarely get snow at Christmas in the UK. Um, what are your Christmas plans this year? Um, this year we're doing it a bit differently, aren't we? Because normally we have my parents here on Boxing Day, but this year we're actually switching it. So we're doing my parents, Christmas Eve, and Adam's family on Boxing Day. And Christmas Day, just two of us. Yeah, yeah. we've always done Christmas Day, two of us. Since we moved in here, haven't we? It's been like, no, just be the two of us. Yeah, it's just, sometimes it's just nice. Don't have to worry Spend about Spend time with each other, because it's the only break we get from work, isn't it? So... Yeah, we can just relax, chill out, eat lots. Yeah. We eat lots of food. Drink. <laughs> lots of food. Well, you drink a lot. I wouldn't say I'm a big drinker. No, you're not. No. Um, when do you decorate your house? Uh, it would be October if Holly had no way. <laughs> um, like, obviously, the base is currently only November, and we're filming this video, and I've managed to convince him to put the candle and my table run out, and we're decorating Christmas biscuits in November. She thinks she's convincing me, but it's not working. <laughs> I am, definitely. He asked me in the car today, when do you want to put the Christmas decorations up? And I'm like secretly thinking, tonight? We're going a lot tonight? Yeah? But ain't going to happen, so. Nope. Kind of sad about that. 
Yeah, we normally go for normally about the first weekend in December. Uh, yeah, first weekend in December normally, isn't You're it? You're going to say November and I already got a little bit excited. No, no first weekend in December. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be the first weekend of December that we put them up. It won't be. We go to Winter Wonderland on the um, 29th of November. I can imagine after a few drinks he'll be letting me put the Christmas decorations up. That's what she thinks. Pro probably will. Probably will. You'll end up caving because he loves Christmas lights. That's the problem. So if I just like he mentioned, oh, but we get the Christmas lights and just have a look and, just, you know, put them up. We have to switch them on. Winner. They'll be up within a couple of hours. Okay, what's your favourite Christmas film? Die Hard. I don't care. It's not even a Christmas film. It is. It's oh, got a Christmas got, tree. Well, because he says ho, ho, ho in it. It's got Christmas trees. I don't have it's Christmas It's not even party. a Christmas film. I, do you know what? I'm a toss-up, <laughs> really. I would have to say, either it is for me, The Muppets Christmas Carol, for me, oh, is a good. proper Christmas film. Or The Polar Express. I would probably go with... It's tough, isn't it? Tough call. Probably The Muppets Christmas Carol, I would have thought. I think really? That's, I think that's, that's pretty good. I love that film. Can't, obviously, you've got to love the Home Alone films. Home Alone, standard, they're brilliant films. Also, Elf. Elf, yeah. But I have to say, my top ones are either The Polar Express or Muppets Christmas Carol. Die Hard. As soon as I see Muppets Christmas Carol like on the TV, that's it. I'm like, right, let's see, it's Christmas. I'm ready, let's go. It's Christmas. Um, who loves Christmas more? Without a doubt. Look, Look or is he just, based? Just... Hang on, let me. I'm wearing Christmas complete. Let me jump. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas trousers, socks, jumper, mug. I'm Christmas obsessed. I mean, don't know. I love Christmas. Yeah. Uh, we have the Christmas decorations up all year round. Do you round. think when you met me, kind of, you were like, oh, there's nobody as Christmassy as me, and then you met me, and it was like, actually, yeah, she's a different level. You are a different level. You, you, you're extreme. Like, you are extreme. I've already got my Christmas presents done and dusted, and it's November. Christmas, we have like an Asda saving card. Yes. So we, every time we do our food shop since last Christmas, we basically just put like a pound, two pound on, and we've got nearly 70 quid on there now, which covers all of our Christmas food, and we sometimes even have enough just to buy a couple of like little gifts for friends and family. Just it's a brilliant takes, idea. Takes, yeah, it just takes the stress away for Christmas it does. because it's, it's all paid for basically. It's only the two of us, and we're not going to need loads of food for the two of us. And no, definitely not. Makes it just so much more easy. But yeah, that we're we're very organised. I have all my Christmas cards sat here that I need to like start writing out, and I'll be starting to send them out at the end of November. So I'm Christmas obsessed. Absolutely love it. <laughs> uh, what is your Christmas dinner must-haves? Ooh, Christmas dinner. It's, 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 well, we always have the same, don't we? It was always beef. Beef. Yorkshire We're not big puddings. turkey people. No. A lot of people have problems with turkey at Christmas and I don't know, we've just never been the kind of people that are like, yeah, let's have turkey this year. No, we just, we just like, like a good old roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, yeah. roast parsnips. Honey roasted parsnips, let's like not be stupid here. It's honey roasted. Oh, they are good. Carrots, broccoli, uh, some pigs in blankets for you, About stuffing it. balls, genius. Um, and what else do we no normally have? That's probably about it, but we do go a lot of gravy. I love gravy. <laughs> yeah, we do go, go a bit now with our Christmas dinner. We do. Our Christmas dinners are massive. Like, if I can, if I find a picture, I will like put it into this little footage bit here, and you can see we don't go lightly on our Christmas dinner. We end up sitting by about three o'clock, sitting there, but nearly passed out in like a food coma, <laughs> which is actually really good. We really love it. <laughs> uh, the next question I got asked was best Christmas song. Ooh. I'm a toss up. Go with yours. Mine's either Band Aid because it makes me think Gavin and Stacey's Christmas special, which I watch all year round on repeat. I now know it word for word, and Adam can vouch me on this. I watch it near enough every night. Yep. <laughs> Without fail. It just makes you think of, of Gavin and Stacey. It just makes me think of Smithy. Just when he's in the car ringing Gav, like I'm not being funny. I would, me and Georgia, I think, have actually called each other once and done that to each other and sung it. It's just it's standard. You've got to. It's, it's Christmas. And then also the complete All I Want for Christmas, Mariah Carey. Every time that comes on in the car, you have to admit, I go nuts. Well, you go nuts at most songs. <laughs> most that, Christmas songs. Most Christmas songs, but more mm. that one. I don't think I've got a favourite Christmas song. It probably, probably is one. I just can't think of it. Um... I've got to have a Christmas. There's, there's got to be one Christmas song that comes on and you think, yeah, 
I love that Christmas song. See, I've, I, the thing with me is I've, I get good Christmas songs and they're good for the first sort of two weeks and then when it gets to like three or four weeks you're a bit like, okay. Maybe there must be a song where you look at it and you think, yeah, that's that song makes me think of Christmas. Like if it comes on in the shop, or on the radio, whatever, there must be a song that you think, yeah, I like. I think I probably prefer like the, the, the classic ones, like Jingle Bells and things like that, the, the, the old school, the proper old school ones. I just think that... Well, I heard like children's rhyme, Jingle Bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle yeah. all the way. Just like the old, like the old proper, like classic ones, probably. Really, yeah, but you are really old. <laughs> <laughs> she loves me really, but <laughs> yeah, probably, probably, the old, probably the older ones. So you're more of the jingles than you are the actual like Christmas songs. Yeah. Okay. Have you got any Christmas traditions? Um, not as such. I don't yet. think we've really developed traditions. To be fair, no. You say that, but every Christmas day. We have breakfast at the same time. We have dinner about mid afternoon. We end up watching whatever's on television normally Christmas film, Harry Potter, I think we watched last year to be fair. I think it was, yeah, and it was um, just whatever films we've got. Yeah, we just watch whatever's on. David Attenborough, if he's on, like you have to watch him at yep. Christmas. You sat there in a miss massive food coma and Mr. Attenborough comes on, you're like, yeah, that's it, I'm, I'm sorted. <laughs> this year will be Gavin and Stacey's Christmas special. Yes. I never actually watched the original oh TV programme, but God. I'm actually quite looking forward to it. I really, I, ca I cannot wait for the new Gavin and Stacey. I've waited so long for this. Like, ne I, yeah, I can't. I'm just going to absolutely love it. I really on. think I'm going to love it. But yeah, I would say they're kind of traditions. They're things we do. We spend it together alone. We don't have anybody else here. Yeah. Obviously, it'd be different when maybe we have our own children, but... No, we still spend it on our own. They can go to their, <laughs> they grand, they go go to their grandparents. Bye, you go grandma's this weekend. Bye. We're having a quiet Christmas. Mum and Dad having fun. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you next week. <laughs> and like we put our Christmas decorations. Winter Wonderland is a tradition for us. Yes, that is true. We go there every, every year. Every year we have been there for the last four years, haven't we? This would be number four. Number five, we did it twice last year. Number five, there we go. Not, so, not loving counting. We love Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park, which I will be taking you guys along with. I haven't taken the vlog camera before. Only because every time I've gone, it's been absolutely manic, and I thought no. But this year, because we go during the weekday, I'll be much more comfortable taking a camera out on the weekday when it's not as busy, yeah. and I could show you what Winter Wonderland's like. Yeah, we'll, we'll explain what Winter Wonderland is in a bit, bit more detail. Yeah, on the on the time when I take you guys. But that's a tradition for us. We've done it every year in the yep. Bavarian huts, and it's just, it's absolutely crazy. So, Big yeah, I'd say they're traditions. Yeah, I, um, you know, I'm sure we will make some more traditions as you know. We have children and like what, what, old nieces and nephews get bigger. As I get older. As you get really old. And uh, I don't because I'm so cute and young. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd say that's it. We don't really have any traditions as of yet, but we're still fairly new. We've only been married, you know, this is our first year being married together at Christmas. That's kind of cute. Yes. Uh, and you know, you never know ne what next year could bring. You know, we could, we could be lucky, we could have children. God knows. We will see. We will see. All in good time. Yeah. Uh, okay. What was your worst Christmas present ever? Um, I remember one one year. Mm. Uh, obviously, when I was a kid, my uncle got me. I don't know, I'm getting old here, but it was a, a cassette, and it was the Power Rangers theme tune for the TV program and the, he got me that for Christmas and uh, yeah I was, I was over the moon with that I really 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 loved that <laughs> did you even like Power Rangers? I like Power Rangers but I didn't really want the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the cassette it, was, it, it literally had like three songs on it it was like just a, the theme tune and it was like a remix the version of the theme tune and then it was just they could have got you like the Thunderbirds or something because everyone, no, everyone aspired to have the as uh, it's Tracy's Island yeah, don't remember, don't remember it, was, it was good. It's like, you know, at least he sort of had an idea of what I was into, but I sort of opened it and I had to sort of sit there and be like, oh, yeah, that's 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 great. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. I'm probably going to listen to this once out of courtesy and then just it just sit on my shelf in my bedroom and never be used again. Did you find that obviously your sisters had something really nice and then you're like, oh, okay, cool. I get the Power Ranger then, I, no worries. To be honest with you, I've got, I couldn't tell you what my sisters got because I was over, over the moon with <laughs> what so I had. I was so static. excited. <laughs> I was doing cartwheels and everything. I was just loving it. Um, I guess, you know what? I'd have to say, when I was back in secondary school, and I'm talking like year seven, I think I, I liked this boy, and I brought him a present. I think I brought him like, an, something really nice. I can't remember what it was. But in return, he bought me a pencil. <laughs> but this is the best bit. He bought my friend, one of my close friends at the time, 
a necklace. I was supposed to be his girlfriend. And I got a pencil. <laughs> and it wasn't even a special pencil. I think it did it didn't even do anything. Now, Georgia, if you watch this video and you can probably comment on this. It wasn't it. I got a pencil and yeah. After that, I don't think I ever bought him a present again. <laughs> I don't think we were dating very long. We are only year seven. Oh, young love. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say after that is probably the worst present I've had. Other than that, I'm really easy to buy for, so it's really hard to get a bad present for me. I hope that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll let, we'll let you know on Christmas Day. Uh, where did you two meet and who asked who first? Uh, met each other at work. Mm -hmm. uh, both work for the same company. Um, I think it was me that asked you. I don't know. But who asked who out first? Is it like who asked who out on the first date kind of thing? Um, yeah. I think to be I, fair, yeah, I think it was you. It was me. I did ask you first, yeah. Because we know, obviously, we've known each other. We've been speaking to each other for a while, but yeah. sort of the first sort of official date. Um, <laughs> yeah. I we asked you. Bowling, not bowling. Yeah, we went bowling to the bowling alley, didn't we? Yeah, we went to and bowling alley. And we played, played pool. And we were wearing matching t-shirts. Well, not matching, not but matching. both wearing super dry t-shirts. Yeah, not that sad that we just all make sure we're out. Make sure we're <laughs> Call out. each other up, go, do you, you want to match me? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be wearing a white t-shirt today. Make sure you're wearing a white t-shirt. We're not, we're not that, that sort of a couple. We, we don't have to go out wearing matching uh, matching clothes. No. But no, yeah, we went. We spent, played a few games of pool, had a few drinks, nothing too too bad was that the time i dropped you home and you were a little bit uh, a little bit merry and you yeah and a couple of glasses of wine and you were you were singing justin bieber <laughs> i sung justin bieber at the top of my voice i still sing justin bieber at the top of my voice he is like goals i love him and this this was the first the first time that we'd ever actually been out on a date and she was sitting there screaming justin bieber at the top of her voice and adam also had loads of hair He's going to take the mick out of me with my singing. He actually had hair down to here. There's nothing so... to be ashamed about. I'm not ashamed about my long hair. Your singing on the other hand. My singing is impressive and I think the X Factor would be blessed to have this voice. Like. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you're married, how do you both handle money? Um. um we tend to do it together. We, don't, yeah. we've said, we, haven't got, we haven't got a joint account. Um, in terms of like you know money, but mm. we we just do it together, don't we? You know, we, we split things. So there's certain bills that I will pay, there's certain bills that that Holly will pay. Um, obviously, Holly knows everything that I earn, and I know everything she yeah. earns. And you know, to be fair, we make decisions together as well. Like I wouldn't um, buy something major if I didn't talk to you first. But then we've also got the flexibility where we have our own accounts. So if we do want to go and shop and spend some money on ourselves. I don't think it's a problem. Like if you said to me, "Oh, look, I'm going to go and buy whatever it was," I'd be like, "Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't stop you from buying something." No. Um, like obviously, we still have our bills go out of separate accounts as well. So I pay for like our gas, electric, water. Adam pays our rent. So we still have that. We haven't got a joint account. We've got a joint savings account. Yeah, but the thing is, is we, we, we know like if, if for our sake, you know, one of us had a big bill that came out that we weren't expecting. For our sake, like. I had like my car insurance or something came out and I was short of money. I know full well that I could just sort of turn around to Holly and say, look, a bit short, bit short from my account at this moment. Can you cover this bill? Yeah, it's, 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 never, this, it's never an no. issue, is it? It's just like, yeah, right, done. It's not like mine and yours, is it? We're both still very much, uh, it's our money. We share the money. It's not like we live separate lives with our money. No. Nine but times we out have ten, the flexibility. Yeah, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, it's me telling you to go out and spend yeah, some money. Yeah, go and actually spend some money, baby. You're sort of, I'm in an hour about what to do, and I'm like, oh, why don't you just go shopping? You know, I'm going to spend money, and I'll just... How many blokes let a girl go shopping? Like, come on, this is just rare. How, how many blokes just hand over their credit card? <laughs> yeah, just hand their credit card willingly, and just go, here you go, go and have some fun. Like, okay, bye! <laughs> that makes sound really spoiled. I am really spoiled, oh god. No, you're not spoiled, it's just I like to watch the football sometimes in peace. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> is there anything about Christmas you don't like? Uh, at the end of it. Yeah, it's sad having to go back to work. I hate going back to work. It's, I don't know why. I love I love putting the decorations up. I love yeah. having. A, I love. I don't know why. I love Christmas lights. I think that goes back to like my granddad because my granddad used to just be mad with his Christmas lights. He used to have them literally <laughs> everywhere. And like it's just, our house. <laughs> it's just. It's just always. You know, whenever he used to go to my granddad's at Christmas, it always used to yeah. just remind me of it and. You know, so me sort of carrying on doing the lights, and when it gets to the sort of the, the day that you're like, right, okay, we've got to take these down now, it's always horrible, and the house just seems, it just seems empty, empty doesn't it? Yeah. It just seems yeah, empty. Yeah, you so. do like spring cleaned, kind of like, oh, 
spruce the house back to normal. That is it's really probably, depressing. That's probably the worst bit, other yeah. than Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts at Christmas are fucking horrible. <laughs> Sorry for the language. <laughs> we don't like Brussels sprouts in this household. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I guess for me, I don't want to say it's something that I don't like or I, I don't like about Christmas, but I do miss like being around everybody at Christmas because me growing up, I spent my Christmas with my grandma and granddad. Uh, all of us did, so my cousins, my aunt, or we'd take it in turns and we'd go and stay at my aunt and uncle's house and we'd have Christmas Day there. And because I guess when you're surrounded by your cousins and kids that are similar ages, it is so much more magical like we'd all get ready for bed and like they say oh Father Christmas be coming in the morning and we'd all get up super super early and me and my brother would be like should we go and wake them up should we go should we go and then you'd hear them all go no go back to bed it's it's like seven o'clock in the morning my dad however was the only person that was always like up at six o'clock like it's Christmas like what are you doing hug I'd get come on come on I hope you're not whistling at you <laughs> he would but... dad whistles at us so that's kind of the only thing I like. I don't. I kind of miss about Christmas sometimes is having everybody together. And maybe one day, maybe when we have our own house and we have a bigger house. Basically, or... she's bored of me. <laughs> no, I'm not bored <laughs> of you. Um, but yeah, maybe one day it'd be nice to have everybody together, like my family, your family, yeah. or our family. You know, be 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 nice. So... Maybe you can sort something. Or you will. <laughs> okay. Well. That is probably the best question to end it on today. Um, I really hope you all enjoy this video and, you know, it gives you a little bit of festive cheer to start the year. <laughs> start the year, that's so ah! Let's start that bit again. Ah! Hope it gives you some festive joy for the start of December. Um, but yeah, we absolutely love doing these kind of q and a's it's a good laugh it's actually really nice just to sit down and just focus our head on something else other than watching television because we do that a lot we watch a lot of tv oh, yes. um but yeah i finished decorating my biscuits so i'm happy to show them what i've done because i actually think my biscuits look quite cute so hang on let me just hold what? the biscuits uh. do, 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 do. look at them festive cheer oh beautiful <laughs> Mine are nearly done, I'm just, just finishing mine. Sorry I've been a bit quiet on this video, I'm just um, concentrating because I've got about as much artistic talent as I want. <laughs> Do you know I'm actually looking forward to eating these my, and having a cup of tea. I really am looking forward to it. Mine are nearly done. Oh, I'm going to ruin this last one. Bear with me just a moment. While he's finishing that off though, please hit subscribe if you're new here and give it a big old thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. And I hope you guys can follow me and Adam on Instagram. And if you want to see any more videos, give it a big thumbs up and also comment below or even DM me to let me know what you guys would like to see next. So, my camera lighting keeps going funny. Look, it's actually focusing on this. It's fine, <laughs> He's so just moved here, so let him just show you his I'll before you we what, sign I'm off. I'm going to pick mine up before they fall off the plate. So, that's the, the very first um, really boring, horrible one. <laughs> uh, I've got this one, which has got a little... H in the middle for Holly. That's her special one oh, made by me. Oh, you actually went really romantic. There's me just like, oh, I just designed them. And then there's you like, oh, actually, mm. I put a really cute little Holly in there. There's one oh, that that's I really just cute. I like that. Messed about with a little bit. <laughs> I've actually got some artistic talent that I didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you stick along for more of these videos. There will be plenty of festive videos coming this year. So we will see you all soon in the next video. But thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye. Bye.